morning viewers, Damp Sanam here, aka Simon from All Dry Damp Proofing. Right, we've had a couple of questions thrown in, people uh, sent them in, basically asking about um, drilling and injecting into, into brickwork, old system, um, drilling and injecting what we do um, into joints using soak saying creams now your problem what you've got is in olden days what they used to do I'll flip I don't know if I can flip this round uh, just have a look if I can flip it round I will do no can't do once I get it going right so what you've got here you've got drill holes that were into brickwork and then these are drill holes that we do into perpendiculars and that goes into mortar and that's the siloxane creams um, that work by blocking pores in masonry and it stops damp, damp travelling up through the wall and that after extensive research they've found out that that's the way that damp travels up through the wall. Um, it can go through a brick if it's really really porous but because we've drilled and injected it here and you've created a barrier and that stops it from uh, rising. In olden days or 80s, 70s, 80s, sometimes 90s. How they used to do it? They used to drill and inject into these two, into these two holes, and they used to do it using an high pressure method. And a lot of the time, it was silicon that got that got put in, and then they changed it to a water-based one. But um, when I first started back in uh, in 80s. My old, this is this is our um, damp proofing got taught. Now I didn't used to do drilling and injecting, but we used to tell all labourers that when you had your rods in, you'd, you'd see like a a wet patch start to emerge around each circle as it was as it was filling pores at brickwork up. And what they used to say is, when this these two circles made a figure of eight then you had to stop you know what I mean which were a right load of rubbish and I think nearly all damp companies apart from you know actual responsible ones used to do that now what it's supposed to do you're supposed to fill all that brick and the joint to create a continuous barrier and they weren't doing it and sadly, a lot of damp courses that were put in in 80s and 90s, they just, they just are not done properly because of that. Because it, people were shown by the bosses, by people they worked with, how to do it and they were being shown wrong. Um, and that's why you need to go to a qualified, to a company with qualified people that's got members in PCA, you know that they've done their exams, they've got the knowledge, they've paid all that money to, um, to well, to, to, to get that knowledge and, and and put it into practice, basically, um, like what we have. Um, and the thing is, it's not that expensive to do it. You can't understand why, you know, it's a bit of time, a bit, bit of money, go and get it done. But that's basically why we're drilling and injecting to, into joints and not into brickwork. And the other thing is, what they've done here, they've pointed these up and they look a right mess. You can buy plugs that go in that's like a terracotta colour. I mean, we'll point these up. 
little bit same colour as brickwork so you're not going to see like a, a massive difference but this that's just a rate mess and then it probably well it, well it, it won't be working right <coughs> so that's damn sam signing off subscribe to the channel on one of these have a look at his website it's an award-winning one um, you can contact us through there if you've got any questions just send them through we'll try and answer them but that uh, that one was for a mrs lee's hi mrs lee's um hope i've answered your question and uh, we'll see you on next video bye bye